It's an honor to speak as part of National Whistleblower Day 2021, and I express my appreciation to my colleagues and friends at the National Whistleblower Center. I only wish we could be meeting in person rather than virtual. I know I do not need to tell this audience how important whistleblowers are to the flow of democracy in our country. I've been practicing law for nearly 30 years challenging government conduct. 25 of those years have been representing national security whistleblowers. National security cases are some of the most difficult given as they present obstacles not seen elsewhere, especially because they involve classified information. Few lawyers regularly handle these types of cases and fewer still like myself hold high level security clearances. Now understanding what constitutes a national security whistleblower is key. Anyone who unlawfully discloses classified information to unauthorized third parties is not as a matter of law, a whistleblower, that wrong path forfeits all potential protections that might otherwise exist and creates criminal liability. Whether you want to consider that individual to morally be a whistleblower is a different question that I'm not addressing. In my few minutes, let me offer a few points and examples. There are many proper avenues that exist for a national security whistleblower to pursue a lawful disclosure. These can involve efforts before all three branches of government. To maximize success, innovative and sometimes complicated strategies may need to be pursued with delicate precision and guerrilla warfare-like tactics. Above all, patience is needed. Indeed, I know of no national security case that was so time sensitive regarding the disclosure that lawful avenues could not have been pursued first. Keep in mind, neither the whistleblower nor their attorney no matter how experienced they might be, decides what constitutes classified information. That is a US government determination. Of course, classification is used not only as a shield by the government, but as a weaponized sword against the whistleblower. To be sure, the national security whistleblower system is not even close to being perfect. In fact, it leaves a lot to be desired and it demands reform that we should all work towards but that does not mean the existing system cannot work when a case is handled properly. Let me give you some recent examples from my law practice. John Tai is a former State Department official who believes the US government unlawfully conducted domestic sur surveillance on its citizens. Through our coordination, he lawfully revealed classified information to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, the State Department and National Security Agency Inspector Generals, and after following the pre-publication review process, he lawfully published an op-ed in the Washington Post. John was so moved by his experience that in 2017, together we co-founded Whistleblower Aid, a nonprofit law firm designed to provide free legal representation to whistleblowers. Our motto, report government and corporate law breaking without breaking the law. Andrew Bakai is an attorney who served in both the Department of Defense and Central Intelligence Agency's offices of Inspector General. He helped create their current national security whistleblower systems and ironically became a CIA whistleblower regarding a classified topic. He properly filed a complaint and we lawfully pursued it through the system. In 2019, after four years of investigation, the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General concluded CIA had unlawfully retaliated against Andrew. Andrew's name is likely familiar because he was the lead counsel for the intelligence community whistleblower. That individual learned through their job about President Trump's telephone conversation with the president of Ukraine and was concerned about what was said. Andrew made sure that a proper classified complaint was filed with the intelligence community inspector general but then unexpected things transpired, which often occurs in these cases. The acting director of the Office of National Intelligence refused to transmit the whistleblower's urgent concern complaint to Congress. It is these types of obstacles that show why it is so imperative to have experienced legal counsel to know how to navigate what is truly treacherous waters. One fatal slip and everything can go wrong. I entered the case after the media caught wind something was up, and we quickly established three objectives. One, 
ensure the relevant information in the complaint reaches the Congressional Intelligence Oversight Committees, two, protect the anonymity of the whistleblower, and three, shield the whistleblower from any retaliation. Through a variety of delicate strategies, twists and turns, and sometimes just good fortune, I'm incredibly proud to say we successfully achieved all three objectives. Notice I did not identify a fourth objective. Impeachment of President Trump was not a factor at any time. It was an outgrowth of our activities, but it was a political determination pursued by Congress with no involvement from us. In fact, if anything, we stayed out of the ideological fray. Other classified cases, such as for Brian Murphy, a former Department of Homeland Security acting undersecretary and the highest ranking whistleblower known to come forward in decades, and Mark McConnell, a career and seasoned Department of Justice prosecutor who we obtained proper authorization to have him reveal details of his complaint against FBI and CIA to Ronan Farrow of the New Yorker, remain active. Both individuals remain employed by their agencies and have been able to minimize retaliation through our legal representation, particularly because they have followed proper procedure. These cases demonstrate that a national security whistleblower can lawfully reveal classified information to oversight authorities, as well as devise mechanisms to legally reveal unclassified details to the public by utilizing the existing system. And it can lead to even the President of the United States being held accountable. While the system has its flaws and desperately needs to be strengthened, I am encouraged that the future for national security whistleblowers can and will be brighter. Thank you. Thank you.